Hey y'all, I'm James Wright and welcome back to Wizards News. Today I want to talk to you about how to become a better, faster spellcaster in the long run. Now this is one of those skills that is hard to learn. And unlike Pokemon Go where you're just tapping or throwing a curveball, there are a bunch of different glyphs you have to do and there is a skill to be able to do it faster and more accurate. So today I want to show you how you can actually do that. Now there are two things that are very important. Number one is speed and number two is accuracy. So let's see what we got here. Ooh, we have the reward poster. So this isn't a hard one. This is still staying in the easy green. And this is a, uh, this is a fairly easy one. So, so there are two ways you can do this. Number one, you can go very slowly and be very accurate. If you go slow, you'll see the arrow at the top move all the way over to the left but then it'll come back when it calculates your accuracy. So let's go slowly and see how accurate we can be. See how the arrow moved a long ways over, but then it moves back as it calculates in accuracy. Let's see if we actually get it. Okay, we didn't. So this time I'm gonna do it faster, but my accuracy is gonna be a little bit more sloppy. So here we are in another trace and surprise, surprise, it is a Thestral happy day, um, but I used a, uh, a more potent potion so that I make sure I get this one. But this time we're gonna do it a little bit faster and see if we actually get it. You'll notice that the arrow doesn't go as far to the left, but my accuracy will be a little bit sloppy, so the arrow might move it a little bit farther. So we'll see how this goes. You can see that was really sloppy, but the arrow didn't move as far. It ends up being about the same, and this time I'm a little excited because this is my first Thestral. Hey, we got it though. So that being said, you can work on either speed or you can work on accuracy. Focus on one or the other and get better at that. I usually suggest people work on speed Get through it quickly because that'll keep the arrow as far to the right as possible. And that way you can work on your accuracy as things improve. So if you're at home and you can't play the game at the moment, you can still practice your spell casting. And there is an app by Wizards Unite World that will help you out with this. It is the same glyphs, the same spells, and the same way as you have in the game, but you actually get to try them out at home. And so this will actually give you a score for it. So we can go boom, 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 and you can see it's great. And this will then show you your time and you can actually get comparisons on how that all goes so you can learn from what you're doing and get better at it. So I hope this helps you out and I'd love to hear if you have any special tips and tricks that you have for how to become a better spellcaster. Uh, there are lots of little things about this and it is a skill-based practice so it's something you're going to have to learn over time and practice and practice and the more you practice the better you get and the faster you get. So the only way to really get better at it is to get out in the field and practice and if you can't be in the field then use the Spellcaster and Wizards Unite Home. It'll help you out there. So I hope this helps you out. If it did, please let me know in the comments below. I think that's about it for now. And until next time, have a magical day. Chocolate frog time. Okay, let's do this again and see what we get. Hopefully it's something new and different, something I haven't seen before, but today it's another uh, Godric Gryffindor. I think I've gotten like three of him in a row now. I need something new.